mates, love. That way. You figure from this tale that I fancied her? Well, obviously. It's my story, person, not yours. Come off it. It's an old story and it's not. And it is only a story. Stop. What? Man. He chucks the shell in his hand against the wall at his side, his expression sour. Fine. I was just entertaining you as I cooked. That's stupid. Bollocks. I don't want to hear that from your full arse. Well, it's stupid. It's stupid. Forget it. What? What's this? You starting? Your stone's dropping now. Drop him any further and I'll tear him out. Tear out your tongue too, you hear? Don't start with me. The boy freezes, his hand hovering over his last chestnut. I'll rip your legs off, understand? Don't start with me. Last thing you need to be worrying over is your soul since I'll rend you limb... Eh, rend you limblet. Limbless if you start with me and there won't be anything to be holding that soul at all You start with me. I'll kill you we clear person he quickly nods. I chuckle You're a cute thing aren't you quailing so tender? I can't move from here person. You know that quivering he speaks up. It, it just sounded pretty real did it? The boy lets out a loud sigh shaking as it leaves him Still vibrating with fear. He fumbles opening his last nut he looks, he looks there, st uh, he looks to still be, uh, oh my god, epic fail. There looks to still be bits of shell on the fruit, which he does not notice until it's in his mouth. He frowns a bitter frown and calms down somewhat, now distracted by the taste. Some of these are finished, finished mind. I nod at the fire. Can toss them to you if you'd like, if you're still scared. Nah, I'm not. He rocks his head. I'm fine. I'm pretty tired. Could you toss them anyway? Aye, aye. Surely could. Also shall, but only if you agree to stay with me till sunset. It's noon already? It is. I sit down myself, longing across from him. Or lounging across from him. He stares, his vision slowing and jumping and trying to focus. Eventually, he squints, leveling his eyes, his eye on me. Erm, um, didn't you say you'd do it for free? Not this person. I said I'd cook these, and I am. He furrows his brow and frowns. Fine, I'll stay with you. Deal. The ballroom rattles with the sound. He isn't surprised by it. I smile again. So, is that what you are? Tired? Y yeah. I pick up a chestnut and throw it to me. Catches it somewhat dazzly. How long have you been gone from your more person? I don't know, two days? I throw him another. Oh, isn't that a long time? No. It's a joke, a laugh, er, eh. Fail. <laughs> I don't. If I laugh, it'd basically be like me laughing at you. Ha, huh, answering with a greater joke instead of simply laughing. You really are a jester. A greater joke? I send one more his way. My existence. My predicament and existence together, and the greatest joke in all history. I know this, and I've missed half of it. Stop. Such a soft lad. I tilt my head and regard him. I keep leafing through my head book for the memory of another like you, but I'm finding nothing. And I have so many memories, did you know? So many. So many travels, delights, regrets. A boy shouldn't be so soft. The world's so rough it'll shape him ugly. Laudingly breathing, the boy eases into his arms a little more. Where it was, it was a rough place. If you don't know, Moors, maybe this world's also soft now. It'd explain you, he blinks. Where I was raised, and my moor, that was quite rough. You know why I laughed earlier, when you'd mentioned souls? You know why I joke of souls? He blinks. So many of us fiends are so obsessive over souls, it's just extraordinarily eh, it's just extraordinary souls, not our remarkable ones like the way yours feels. I have to look for the those mature, spirited humans, their souls heavy with character and experience. He closes his eyes. A newborn soul, for example, won't do anything for you. It is special though, yes. A newborn soul is quite pure, quite pure really. 
His back rises and falls. Pax Gana, Pax Isnan. Exquisite. I check a chestnut at his hair. It bounces off into the ground. It doesn't even flinch. I look into the fire, I gaze into the fire. The fire. These stupid things inside it. Psst. These stupid things. For a flash of a moment, I consider turning them to ash, but doing so would break my pact. No, it wouldn't. I still won't. I'd rather burn this then. This boy. Blasted. Should have grabbed him while he was at the edge. Would have been. Eh. Would have been so simple. Or do I need his agreement to exchange his life for mine in the circle? Am I forgetting? Am I forgetting the conditions? This, this boy be damned for rekindling hopes in me. Pressing my hands in my face and anger. Roughly, I glare at him with parted fingers. I breathe out. If I could just lunge out from here and take him, I'd do it. I would. I growl. My body still feels the sensation of when I last forced myself into the barrier. Searing into my marrow, purging of my eyes, and I still would. I'd still lunge out from here. I'd bloody well do it thrice to get out of this blighted circle. Why did I grab him before? He was at the edge. Why didn't you pull him in? Take him. I've forgotten so much. Oh God. God to cry to heaven. I... I... Is that what it was like? Having passions? I want to die. I need to leave. But not anymore. This passion. Passion. Possible. Possible. I want to die. I bite my tongue again. Burst of blood and drown in myself. Nails on my wrist. Tearing. And dig and tug and pull out my bleeding throat again too. Ha! 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 Finding silence every day. And what's, what's a day? Two days, he said. What are days, huh? What are months? What are years? I've been here centuries. Centuries? Centuries? Is it longer? Is it even centuries? Oh. Quiet settles in and the wind dashes the leaves. Scraping leaves, scraping leaves, scrape, howl, raindrops falling again, again, again. Embers in my hand, smoke. Sometimes I scream just to hear a voice again. What happened to my life? My jaw is quaking, my eyes are warm. I wish you'd come here. Taking my hands from my face, I look at this peaceful, peaceful. He's so peaceful, isn't he? Peaceful little cunt. Wake up. I throw another chestnut at him and miss him. Wake up. Another and another. Sir, me. Er, see me, er, see me. This body. It does not grant the bloody piece of sleep. I take up a handful and toss them. I haven't slept a minute, bastard son of a slut bitch, two fence whore. I haven't slept a second, I've void. I've been always awake. Two days, you miserable wretch. Had I only been there two days, I'd drink a pub dry. Damn you, you hear? When you're dead, I'll find and spit on your grave. I I'll plant an olive tree there, you rat bastard. I throw and throw and throw. Missing, missing, missing. I hate you, I... Huh. Am I sobbing now? A fiend sobbing? Huh. Why? I drop my arms to the ground, crying in shakes. For the life of me, I can't remember a time ever crying. I'm feeling dizzy. I always feel dizzy when I'm waking up. My mouth's dry too. It's pretty awful. I smack my lips and rub my eyes. I'm still kind of tired. Er, why was I tired? M oh yeah, got lost along the way to the Dales. Told Ma I di didn't need that horse. He's so dumb. It would have been better just walking alone. Spooked by a dang partridge. Seriously. Must have bolted about half a minute before bucking me off. I open my eyes and it, and it looks like fog. I remember them. I, I rub them again and notice that lady from before sitting in front of me. Is she asleep? Miss, you asleep? No. Oh, I just figured. Since her eyes were closed and all, I can't sleep. 
I look at her weird and flinch. Something rolled out of my hair. It drops on the ground. Looks like a shell. Oh, it's one of the chestnuts. Why are these in my hair? I ruffle up the top of my skull, finding two more nuts and a burr. What? Did she throw these at me? I look at her and arc an eyebrow. Her cheeks are wet, her nose is red, and her eyes are low. Her ears are low. She looks like one of my kid brothers after falling off a curb. I can't really think of what to tell her. Maybe I'll just say what I always say. Did you do something bad? Tell me the truth. Piss off. Yikes. She's in that mood again. Um, listen, if you got mad because I... What'd I just say? She says that like a fact instead of a question. I freeze up. Piss off. What'd I do? I thought I was being nice. You want me out of here? She keeps staring at the floor. I'm a little scared now. What time is it? It doesn't look like sunset. It's not sundown yet. I... I don't think I... Leave. But... But the... Eh! Oh my god, fails. But the deals leave. If I mess up the leave, what am I supposed to do? I don't want to leave. If I mess up a deal with a fiend, I'm going to hell. Or is it worse? Oh man, if it's worse. I can't just walk out. Maybe if she... You're kidding. Whoops. Didn't want to say that. But it was quiet. See, my ear, my eyes are shaking. Look at her leaf pile. Because there aren't any chestnuts in it. The deal was, she had to toss chestnuts to me, and she did that, sorta. I'm out of luck here. I can't leave, lady. It's lady now. Sorry, God. Leave. I want you to be leaving, walking out of here. Go and be damned, villain. I just look at her. I'm biting my teeth together, and my heart's going wild. Burn in hell, dog. It's where you belong with all the blasted foul creatures of your ilk. Calm the hell down. She picks up her head from her arms and glares at me. Ch just calm down, alright? Calm down already. You really are an idiot. Well, boy, you're crazy. Why the heck are you mad at me? Why'd you even talk to me, lady? What do you want? You're lonely, right? That's it, right? She starts standing up. Well, I'm not going to let her look that far down on me. I'm standing up, too. I'll even step up to her. I ain't letting her get the better of me. I ain't got no problem scraping with, scraping with you, lady. I'll knock you, your block off. You just swore against my family, and I ain't gonna stand for that, alright? Of course I'm quaking on my boots while I say this. No, I swore against your race. I gulp and frown. Your entire miserable, sin-hearted race. Know what I'd do if I got, one, got out of this circle? She steps forward. I step back. Yes or no? No. She leans forward just before what I'd guess is the barrier. I can feel her breathing on my face. It's cold and warm. Kill the whole lot of them. Kill the men. Kill the women. Kill the babies. Lasses and lads like you. To lads like you, I'll dive my hands into their guts, wrench out their innards string by string, and set them on fire. I... I... am crying a little. I'm sorry, okay? I don't know what happened to you. I... I just wanted to know and be nice and... She leans back, standing up straight and breathes out. I swear I see flames coming out of her mouth, Airy. Are you scared? I nod fast. Why? I... I... I don't... I can't touch you, see? All of a sudden she pushes her hand toward my face. My eyes widen, my whole body locks up. What am I seeing? I am trapped before here. Her skin's burning off in a bright yellow glow. I can see her muscles charred black, turning inside. Ow. Fire's blazing all over her hand. There's white in there, her bones. I can't watch. Watch! I turn back from turning away. Your blood's evaporating. She grimaces and tears fill up at the sides of her eyes. One drops rolling down her cheek, and her hand shoots back to her like it's a like it's spring loaded. I can't leave, understand? Do you follow Sod for brains? She holds up the twisty stump sticking to her wrist. This right here, this is what I've known too long. 
Her hand starts coming back together, the melted parts splitting and the bones getting covered back up. There's this popping noise with everything. They go green in the face. I can't kill your people. I want to, but I won't be able to leave here, follow? What? Well, why are you trapped in there? Would you believe I said it was a punishment? I said it was an accident, an unjust imprisonment? Whatever I say, whatever you believe, it doesn't matter. I was trapped here before the world even had a concept of your more. I was trapped here long, 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 long ago. And so, for reasons that no longer matter, I... I... I don't think you're speaking honest with me. How's that? I told you before, you need to calm the hell down. How... I swallow, hold my fists tight. How do I get you out of there? She can't believe what I'm saying. Uh, me neither. But I'm still gonna say it. She shakes her head. You've lost it. I shake my head. Nah, I still got it. I know what I was asked. What I just asked you. Tell me how to get you out of there. If you haven't lost it, you never had it in the first place. I suspect as much. You're touched, aren't you? Look, I got no idea what you're saying, but I'm still thinking straight. And dropping your G's. Shut your trap already. Hush and listen, you rude little pest. I shut my trap. You even know what you're saying? Remember what you're talking to. I ch just think that... I don't... I didn't just mess them up. Huh? I did not, not just mess them up with the men who raped her. I bore my nails hot into their eyes and tore off their faces. What? And that's not all that I did. When I saw her lying there, body warm only from bodies of others and eyes with no spark in them. I set the den where she died in flame. I came upon all who lived in her town and murdered them. I torched their homes and pulled the ribs from their chests, crushed their heads, snapped their bones, stripped off their flesh. If I could torment them, I did it. And in case you're wondering, you're all the same to me. I killed all kinds of you. One kind, human, sex, age. I didn't pay it any mind when I slew them. Holy shit. Since they gathered at the center of the town where I'd first caught sight of her as if to mock me, so I melted them all to the earth slowly. On the night that she died, I erased the t that town from records. All my fighting spirits gone. Why'd you tell me that? You asked. I didn't... You didn't have to tell me all the, the whole story. You're right, I didn't. But didn't you want to know? What the hell is wrong with you? I'm a fiend. Holy... No, that's bull. Is that why you got put here? No. Really? Yes. Holy shit. I've done many things in my life. Things some find admirable, and others some find despicable. I've put a curse on a family for all their generations, saved a gaggle of slaves from the tyranny of their fellow man. I've ruined a marriage, and I've restored another, slaughtered a town, and rescued a child. I've done so many things. And all of those I've mentioned, not a one of them is the reason I'm here. You forgot? Oh no, I remember it quite clearly. But as I said, the reason no longer matters. I just don't get it. You want me to save you, right? I swore that's what you wanted. But now you're telling me all these mixed up things. And what the heck am I supposed to think? What the heck do you want? You gone. I breathe out through my nose and close my eyes. Nah, nah. There's no way. I shake my head again. You've got to be lying to me. I don't think all complicated... Eh, I don't think all complicated, sure, but I know when someone's lying to me. Why the heck are you lying to me? I know you don't want me to leave. What happened to you? I look at her eyes. How long have you been in here? I don't know. I don't know anymore. You don't know? That's what I said, I... What the hell's up with that? That can't be right. All fiends got the snack for knowing the hour exactly the second it's famous, so what the hell does it mean if they lose it? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, how much did you love that girl? I hear something click in her throat. She doesn't look like she wants to say. Shut up. I, I feel bad for her. This is goddamn weird, but it's like she's so sad. Everything about this lady's sad. I mean it. She's just damn... Miserable and pathetic, she's so... You really don't know how long you've been in there? Yes. I think you've been in there for long enough. 
I don't think you really want to kill any more or eh, kill anyone. And you're a fool. Quite. I've had enough of that joke. Tell me how to save you. I reach out to her and grab her hand, that hand that got screwed up and isn't healed now. I hold on to it. Come on. She stares at me. She looks at my hand, holds it with both of hers and squeezes. She locks her eyes with me. I need to be switched with another life. That's the only way for me to leave. I put on my manliest face. I'm not going to switch with you. Listen. I keep her from saying anything else. I'm going to find another way, alright? What the hell could you do? I'll plant something in your place. Nothing can grow here. I'm a fiend, I. That... Damn, right. How am I going to... I shake my head. Doesn't matter that. Land's going to be fine once you're out, right? At least that's what I think. That's what I've read. Look, you've just got to believe in me. I look up and finally notice that the sun is gone. You don't want me to leave anymore. I can feel that. She's really holding on tight. And believe in me. Let me go and I'll save you. She looks at her hands together. And she cuts into mine with her nail. Ow! I wince. Tang. Now come on, don't do this. I look at her face. She's still staring at my hand. Let me go. Come on. She wouldn't, right? Don't, don't pull me. Stop pulling me. I'm trying to calm down my heart. I'm trying not to lose it. But it's hard when she's bringing my arm a little bit closer and a little bit more. Come on. Come on, please. Trust me. She digs her nails into me again. Ow! Her eh. Damn. Ow. Ow. Uh, ah. Please. Please. Let me go. Please. Come on. Let me go. Let me go. I whisper that, not thinking about it. My eyes are shut. I'm just scared. I don't want to get stuck in there. I can feel her looking at me, and I breathe faster. I'm trying to be calm. I can feel my lips moving, pleading. And after a while, real slow, she does it. I open my eyes, shocked. She's let go of my hand, and is holding hers up now where mine was. As she's about to drop it, I toughen up and grab it again. We make eye contact. Believe in me, got it? She doesn't say anything. I let go of her hand and pick up my satchel from inside her space. We hold a look. I beg you, don't betray me. Please. I won't betray you. I promise. The walls don't shake. My voice don't boom. I take a step back and another one. And I run out of there. cold. Now I'm actually shivering. The moon's high, the grass is glowing. It's dark, but beautiful. It's quite like before, like always, right? It's just wind and dead leaves. Even animals don't walk through this place. I wonder how long it's been since people did. At least this is probably the first time someone's walked through here for a, a sapling in their, or with a sapling in their hand. I step into the big room and look out ahead rub my thumbs over a branch of the tree I'm carrying. I can see her there on the floor, her hands over her face. I know she can hear me since whenever I move even a little, her ears flick. I walk forward, wiping her nose with the back of her hand. She stands up and breathes out loudly. She opens her eyes and I'm kind of surprised when I see them glowing. I stop at the edge of the barrier. She looks at me. You look a mess. Yeah, well, my belly owls and I sniff. I'm pretty hard, or it's pretty hard to dig out a tree properly with no real tools, especially one like this. Both check out the sapling. Isn't that, uh, yep, an olive sapling. I didn't pick it since I wanted to make fun of you. Olive trees are strong. If there's anything that's going to take root in dirt like this, it's an olive. Right. Step back, I'm coming in. She does that after a second or two, and I walk into her place. Bending down, I hold the olive up to her. Take it. She does that, too, after her thinking about it. I take a sharp rock out of my pocket that I picked up outside and stab into the ground with it, cracking the floor. It sticks pretty bad in, or it sticks pretty bad in there, and I can but I can still yank it out. I do that and keep breaking up the earth. I can feel the lady staring, and I know what she's thinking. 
Even if I'm a kid, I can st still see this soil's pretty bad. My eyes as good as Ma's, at least. And this lady definitely knows as good as me how it is for growing. If anything grows, it'll be with awful chances. Seriously, an olive's about the only thing that might. Making matters worse, I got very long before. I, I ain't got very long before that sapling's as good as dead. The roots are good and all, but it's not. And honestly, I don't know the difference. From a good sapling to a bad one, I sort of just went with my gut. So, knowing most of that, she's probably thinking of just walking out. That's what's gotta happen, right? Two living things get in, only one gets out. But I'm not going to check on her and see if she leaves. It's not that I'm trusting her. I can't trust her, but... This is about all I can think of. Getting her out without leaving me in, I mean. If I look at her, if I show her that I'm worried, that'd mess everything up. So I've gotta keep at it. I've gotta break up this spot. I stab and pull and I dig, clearing out stones and dirt. I pile all the dirt up next to me. I'm gonna need it later, bad as it is. After a lot of effort, I lean back and look at the hole I made. Then, slow, I turn to see if she's still there. And she is. I hold up my hand. She gives me the olive. I take it and open up my satchel, filled with wet, healthy soil I gathered while I was gone. I carefully transplant the sapling, putting some good soil over its roots and filling the hole back up with a proper mix of my collected stuff and the dirt from the foundation. Careful now. Careful with the roots. Okay, this should be good. I take my canteen from the clip at my waist and open it up. This is filled with spring water. It took a while to find that. Honestly, it took me a while to do it. To do everything, I kind of feel bad about it, but I moved as fast as I could. Anyway, there should be enough here for a healthy first watering. Won't drown it. I pour the insides of the bottle over the leaves and plot, screwing it closed when I'm done and putting it back on my waist. That's it. That's it. That's all. I stand up, wiping sweat away from my brow. Yeah. We both look outside the circle for a while. I give her a look from my side. She's still looking out. Breathe. Okay. Step forward. She doesn't move. I leave her side and turn around. We both stare at the olive tree. Did it work? I open my mouth to ask, but close it again when I see her. She's scared. She's at the edge of the barrier and scared. Oh man, I just realized. If just touching it before hurt her so much, how did it feel when she pushed her whole hand through? She had a stone face when she did it, but God... I can't say anything to that. I don't know what it feels like. Man. Seeing her like that, shaking with fear and panicking, just thinking about moving ahead, I can feel my eyes welling up. I just try not to cry for her. She loosens up her shoulders and puts her hands over her chest. With her eyes closed, she jerks forward. Wait! Her foot passes over the line. My hand is up in the air. I wanted to stop her. I didn't want to see that pain anymore. She jerks her other foot forward, completely leaving the spot. It. She steps again, faltering. Again and again, she walks to me. She lowers herself and just embraces me. I wrap my arms around her. Her skin warms up all over and she nuzzles her face affectionately into my neck, rubs her nose over my cheek. She just eases into me weak. I bring up one of my hands and pet her head. I'm crying. It's okay now, I choke. It's okay, right? She just rests on me, taking away any of the nibbing cold in my body. She breathes out my past, or she breathes out past my ear. Thank you. I hug her a little closer. I'm sorry. I shake my head, trying not to break down. Can I just stay like this for a little bit? You're familiar. You're strong. Y yeah. Yeah, you can. She blusters. Eh, brushes her nose on me again, whispering something. I can't hear what it is. She holds me tightly and we don't say anything else. You're a surprisingly emotional lad. Are all lads like that now? It just really hurt looking at you, that's all. 
on that or right, right. I'm sure that it did, really. I was quite emotional myself. Mother saw me like that. <laughs> I wonder if mother's still alive. When did I last see this place from here? Has it really been forgotten? Yeah, I'd never heard of it. That's a good thing. I think that's a good thing. What was it like here? Did you like it? It was normal, extraordinarily normal. So normal, in fact, that I had to file down my horns just to get around. What about your ears? My ears? What about them? You didn't have to hide them? No, I didn't have to. I only look fiendish with just my... Or, I only look fiendish with just my ears. Like an unfortunate halfling. It little bothered anyone before. If it did, I'd grow my hair long. Huh. As I was saying, this town. This town. I might have liked it once. Though, when I first came here, I never would have expected to stay. Ah, yes. The boy was lost, wasn't he? You've any idea how to get back to your home? Uh, obviously not. Don't get smart, I'll help you there. Really? I can't assure w you when we will find it, but I'll assure that we will... Uh, that we shall for certes. I'll take you there, I may as well. You're not going to travel? Chuckle. This should be enough of a journey after standing so long. Hmm. We'll camp by the eastward spring for, for tonight. You know, the one east. It's still there? Yep, at least it's probably the same one I'm thinking of. Can you fish at all? Not without a rod, no. Then I'll fish for you, but you'll have to prepare it. Can't do everything for you. Hmm. What time is it? You ask me the time? Sorry, just so out of it. Since I leaned on you earlier, you can lay on my back while you sleep. I'll keep you warm. He glances at me briefly and looks pensive. He shuts his eyes. I'll do that. He opens them again, keeping their stare from me. Thank you. I smirk at him. Hmm. What should I even think? I thought this wouldn't happen. Huh? Am I actually asleep? Dreaming? If you are, that'd be weird for me. I'm glad you stayed. I laugh. I'm glad you're a fool. Hmm? Really, I am. I can't say it enough. It's alright. Don't consort with any fiends other than me. Got it. I honestly feel like this isn't real, but I know that it is. Let's go then. My mind has become so loose since I've been freed. Bright. So bright that it nearly blinds me, but I can tell. I, I'm happy. And I think that's the end right there. But maybe it won't be. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, nope. Nope, not quite, but it seemed like it was. It seemed like a decent stopping point, <laughs> to be honest. The sun shines a different way now, different from all the others. Or, different from all the ways I've seen it before. I thought I'd seen them all, but this one's different. Much more different. Pleasant. Watching it come up this morning, with him resting at my chest is profoundly serene. Having him calmly there through the moonlight made it. Now more brimming with life. That's where I'm going to guide him, free of charge. And after that, who can say? The world has changed. I greatly changed. It doesn't feel at all the same. My friends have died. I can tell that from the air. Dead, and I could not wish them farewell. My kid too are dead. On this path, breathing fresh from the winds, I can feel these things and new things. Though fiends still roam, I know no one alive. Know, for something that was made within, I think it was a month, 
based off vi the visual novel database, it said something like it was a project made in a month. That's actually pretty good for a month. I actually wouldn't mind them seeing just, you know, actually essentially remake this with a lot more to it. Or maybe just make something that takes place after this. I'd be fine with that too. It doesn't really matter too much to me either way, but I thought it was pretty good. I mean, I don't I wouldn't say it was a waste at all of 2 hours approximately. And of course, the artwork's quite nice, generally speaking, just for the normal artwork. I gotta say thanks for reading me the visual novel rather than thanks for So yeah, you guys can go ahead and download the game yourself if you are interested in, for whatever reason, playing it for yourself. But considering there's no choices to be made in this game, there's not much of a reason to download it yourself. But nonetheless, like I said, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. And so I'm just going to go ahead and end this here. There's no reason for me to record anything else beyond this point. So goodbye. And, well, actually, yes, before I say goodbye, I should mention that if you had selected this game, you should go back to the video where I give you guys the choice and switch your choice from this to whatever other game. I'd assume that if you had selected this, you're probably going to select one of the other visual novels, in which case you're probably going to select either Clanad, Chaos Head, or Steins Gate, since those are the only other um, visual novels out of the five that I given you the choice to but again now it's really just four choices well actually technically it's actually five choices again it eventually ended up becoming six whatever I'm not going to think about it anymore it's not worth my time but yeah so go ahead and end this here